Hello everyone, this is Amanda from Creative Pouring. Hope you're all well. I am going to do a couple of ring pours well with all this paint that I've just mixed, at least two or three. Um, I'm in the mood for ring pours. So um, I'm running out of glue until I get some more coming in and it's um, the Alma's glue has gone really expensive. So I found some more Floetrol, so I've ordered Floetrol. Um, and I've just used the last of my flow chart, which is the British, oh, what you can get in the British. This is my two and a half litres flow chart. So I'm going to use this um, and based on the lovely Sarah Max videos, I'm going to attempt a few ring pulls. So I have mixed um, flow chart up to, this is like an old Liquitex uh, Liquitex pouring medium bottle which I then mixed up. I did flow trial up to there and then topped it with Liquitex and gave it a good shake and then I put my trusty bit of um, old pop sock in the top to stop all the flow trial boogers coming out. So I mixed that up, give it a good old shake and I've made a oh, big tub of Floetrol and House White, that was 50-50, so that's quite thick. I'll leave that there. Then I did a big old, um, let's swing one it's Jackson Art, where is he? Now, Jackson Art Payne's Grey, this is really thick, so this is about four to one with Floetrol. And this Payne's Grey is really, mm, that's the word, grey and I want mine a little bit bluer so I put a bit of what did I put in there I think I put a put a I put a bit of dioxazine violet in there just to make it a bit more mm, blue if you get what I mean but as you can see it's very thick you can see that yep stick stands up quite nicely so that's a big big old tub of Payne's grey and then in here is two of these Extreme Sheen Decoart 24K gold. So there's two of these, which came to about mm, there, and then I've topped it with Floetrol, my Floetrol mix. Um, I've just made these, so still they're still a little bit um, bubbly. Nice and thick. Now I might put a little bit of water in there, I might not, depends what it's like when it's going to sit. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use these this afternoon. I wanted to put and make them this morning and let them sit. So that's that. This one is, bear with me, um, Pebio, can you see that? Iridescent Green Blue. And this is about two to one. Um, oh gosh, don't tip it on the. Where am I? Over there. That might be a little bit thick, but again, it's. I want it. Wait, let it sit, and then I will adjust it with a bit of water. That's maybe a tad thick, but I'll leave it to see what it's like. So that's that one. Iridescent blue. Now this one is what was left in here which is the extreme sheen pink tourmaline um finished that one off i think it was about half a bottle and then i topped it up with my uh, jackson art magenta so this is really thick so again it's about four to one with my flow troll medium and that is this here luscious so hopefully this will have a bit of sheen still in it from the extreme sheen because of course the uh, Jackson art is not metallic it is oh, I can't work out whether that's semi-transparent transparent what is that supposed to mean I've no idea anyway this is that beautiful color magenta pink then this is what was left in here Sapphire Extreme Sheen topped up with um, Jackson Art Phalo Blue. So again, this is four to one. So um, one part 
paints for parts flow chol and this is really thick I, I think I, oh yeah, I think I've got to water that down this is too thick see the difference just yeah that's too thick I've got to water that down but anyway that's the glue then I have some Pebio um, iridescent copper Pebio so this is this luscious copper colour waterfall again it might be a little bit thick but as I say I've got to let it sit for a little bit first before I use it then this and this was a mishmash I wanted to have like a, a ready um, purpley colour so this is um, bear with me Jackson Art Crimson mainly and then a little splash of um, the which one is it, this one dioxazine violet and a little splash literally two drops of each Prussian blue and that made this sort of rich ready winey colour I would say this is the, my best, this is the best consistency. This is the consistency I'm going to make all the rest of them match this. So again, this was like four to one, one part paint, four parts Floetrol, not my PM Floetrol mix. Luscious. Now, um, I did a big tub of that and then half that and put it half in there and I topped it with dioxazine purple. You can see that's there. I can't help myself I've got to have a purple some, somewhere so again this is beautiful that's the sort of um, consistency I'm looking for so I'm going to make all these I think these two are the same so that's my mix so far all those lovely colours and all that green that's an old one um, so I'm going to have fun with these um, and I'm going to put this oh, oops, mixing video in front of whatever I do because I'm not going to use all these colours in the same painting but I've got them all done. So if you see this mixing bit in front of about three videos you'll know why. <laughs> okay, they're my lovely Jackson Art paints, love these paints. Um, so I will look forward to do my ring pause. See you soon. Hello everybody. It's Amanda here. Let me just come round. Hello. Um, it's Amanda here from Creative Pouring based out of Rugby in the UK. Um, <clears throat> today I've been mixing paints. Um, I've run out of glue and I'm waiting for delivery um, so I had some flow troll left so I'm going to do a lovely um, Sarah Mac inspired ring pour slash straight pour slash just chuck it down pour <laughs> right then so um, at the um, beginning of this video I showed you some colours I've mixed this morning I've been a wizard mixing there you go so there's some of them I'm not going to put in this painting so look out for those in another one um, but today I'm going to I've got some uh, thick white I've got some thin white for the edges and um, that just pours off I've got a big massive tub I'm not going to of course use all this this is Payne's grey with a little bit of Prussian blue added just to make it a bit bluer. I've got some 24 karat extreme sheen gold, nice and thick. I have some Jackson Art Prussian blue and I mix this with a little bit of um, extreme sheen sapphire blue that bright one there and that is mixed with a bit of um, uh, phalo blue, Jackson Art phalo blue 
So it's all a bit of a mix and match today. This is um, Extreme Sheen Pink Tourmaline with um, Magenta, uh, Jackson Art Magenta. And this one is Pebio Iridescent Copper mixed with Pebio Iridescent Orange. Luscious colour, right. <clears throat> My pouring medium is um, the English Oatrol Flow Troll mixed, I suppose, 80 20, so 80% Flow Troll, 20% Liquitex pouring medium. Mix it all up, and this, uh, all these paints are varying ratios Flow Troll to paint dependent on um, their own consistency. So you'll have to see the the front of the video where I mix the paints to see what that is. So I'm going to try and do this before. Let's just see if I can get rid of that. That's it, just a little bit on there because the sun's coming through, so it's going to get a bit. Right, now this is a Hobbycraft, got it in the sale last summer. It's taken me all this time to use it. It's it's basically a 50 centimetre by 50 centimetre box canvas. So I've um, taped the back, put the push pins in, and hopefully we are good to go. So, um, glove them. And I'm going to use, this is a, Hmm. A 16, 500 milliliter, 16 ounce jug. So I'm just going to do just over the 16 ounce, 16, 17 ounces. I'm going to do a puddle of white, pour it on, and then put the thin white around the edges. Okay, so let me just make sure I'm putting the right white in. Yeah, it's a bit quiet. Okay, now. Um, yeah, I have no order of this. I'm just going to um, do a little bit of inspiration by Sarah Mack. So, um, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm just going to go for it. Um, that pink is gorgeous. Okay, so let's just put a little dark one next to that. Put a Prussian blue, a bit more. And then I'm going to put the copper next to that. Gorgeous. Ooh. And then the white. Gold. And what oh, next to that gold? Blue. I've got the consistency right of this paint. It's like when is thick too thick. Um, let's put some bright blue next to that. Oh, 
Why is it when every time I start a pour, I want to blow my nose? Excuse me. <laughs> every time. Right, where am I? Put some of that copper against that blue. Some of that pink. I don't want it too dark, so I'm just putting a bit of white in. Oh, my pink looks flat. All right, let's keep away from the gold, Amanda. There's no rhyme or reason with this. What have I got up to? Some copper next to that white. I'm loving that copper colour. I hope it's going to react okay with everything else. How much have I got? Maybe a couple. Okay, maybe a bit more gold. Just to show William. And. Um, pink, a bit more white. Okay, I think, yeah, that's plenty. Plenty of paint. Okay, let me just stick some gloves on. Have a slurp. Gosh, I hope this is going to be all right. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. Listen, it looks all right in the cup. I'm not sure about that Payne's grey. I put blue in it to make it a bit more bluer, but it. Yeah, can you see? Oh, look at that! Yum. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put a puddle of. Um, this thick paint down, I think, in the middle. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. My camera ran out of space. <laughs> so I, um, let me just see. There you go, that's better. I think I've just finished, um, do my cup. I've just poured a puddle of paint on there. And I think we're good to go. I'm just going to pour it. Right, so as I was saying, I think I was going to say I'm going to do a jiggle, I don't know, ring pour, straight pour. There's my cup. Yum. Right, here we go. So I'm channeling Sarah Mac. See how we do this. Okay. Pour it. Give me a bit of a jiggle. And I'm just going to pour. Well, I can tell you already that the house paint white is not staying white. Fortunately. a disappointment. 
There you go, we'll just carry on. Let's see what we can get out of here. cells in the bottom of there, you say. Mm, yummy. Right. Well, <clears throat> okay. So I can see already that the, the white, because it's house paint white. So before, well, we'll just carry on and we'll see how we get on with this house paint. Okay. I'm just going to get my spatula one moment. Excuse me while I just go and get that. There we go. I'm just going to quickly spread that over so we can get paint not rolling over itself and keeping its form hmm. disappointing that white but never mind okay just in the corner Every day is a learning day, isn't it? Okay. Let's give this a go. Righty ho. Let's tip it that way a little bit. Quick torch. loving the colours anyway so that's okay we'll just see how this goes in the middle this is looking a bit suspect but you never know once you start pouring it right so I'm gonna swirl it around a little bit and try and get them to see if we can stretch it out and I'm gonna try and take my time back to the middle Going down to that one there. Back to the middle. Okay. Oh, you need some good back for this. Let me just turn it around, it's just easier. I'm going to go down there now. Okay. Spare that back to the middle. That pink is really popping. I'm loving that pink. Okay. Down to that one there. And then we're going to see what we like and what we don't like. Back to the middle. I might have to draw that curtain. Hang on. Because that is... Okay. Well. I'm liking it so far. I love the colours. I love the fact that it's gone all purple even though I didn't have any purple in it. I've got the pink and the Prussia blue and and there's some um, cells coming up here, popping up. That um, deco art gold. I'm glad I didn't put too much in and that bit there is. Let's just see if I can pop in more. 
with a bit more of a torch. Okay. Right now, so now we're going to go off the edge. I'm not fussed about this white bit, so I'm going to go that way first to see um, what I don't like and what I like and what happens to it. So let's just see. Okay, just move it over a little bit more. And I'm just going to go over the edge a little bit there. And then I can always come back and see if I don't like it. Back to the middle. Mm. Pink. See? Okay, let's just go that way. Down a bit. And then to this edge a little bit. And to that corner. Go on, you just got to go for it, Manda. Go on, go. And up. Come back. Come back. Open up. Oh, look at that sheen. Let me just stop for a bit. And wipe my hands. Okay, I'm going to just turn it around. It's just easier, I find it easier to just tip it towards you rather than towards me. Okay, all right, so it's in the middle. Now I'm going to go down that corner there. Okay, God, you need some strength for these. You need wide arms, long arms, and blooming muscles on your muscles, heavier than it looks. All right, I'm go a bit further, and off it goes. Off and up. And you know what you can't see much of? Well, here it comes. It's the copper. Let me try and keep it out of that. Oh. Right. I'm just going to. I suppose actually this is the copper mixing with, I don't know, the Payne's grey and the blue and making it a bit browner than I would have anticipated. But um, I'm loving this purple so I only want to do a little bit of that off. So let me just do a quick turn around. And Back down to the middle. It's a shame I quite like that edge, so I'm not going to tip off much because I really like those colours. So it's just literally going to go to the edge and then it's going to come back up, she said. Hopefully, let's move my fingers down there. I know I'm going to lose most of it, but there you go. There we go. I've got to take some off, I suppose, and up and come back. I do I tip some of this pink off and open that up. Let me just, yeah, I'm not fussed about that pink, so that's going to go a little bit more that way. Let's have a hint, hint of pink, keep that purple in. I want to go hold it now and get it back and open that up. Sorry if you can't see very much, but I can't hold it. Right. Right. <clears throat> so this is quite a deep canvas, so I've got to really check my edges. Make sure that it's not yeah. Hmm, it's a bit mushy. If you get my meaning, even though I thought my 
paints are really thick. I don't know whether they're thick enough to keep the keep the lines. I think maybe that I'm going to, okay, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to mix some more white up um, and not use the house paint. Um, you can see there it's a bit... Um, I'm going to leave it because I want to see how it dries. Um, I can always pour over it, as you do, but the, there's definitely no um, real um, lines. You know, the different layers, they've sort of tended to blend a little bit more than I was hoping they would. So, I mean, the cup, the luscious um, cells in the bottom of the cup. Um, yeah, and this is, it's not splitting, but it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's bizarre. I just want to pour straight over it. Oh, but I can't, I don't. Maybe I'll just pour over it with not any white. I mean, this is quite funky here, where it's gone into like a bit of lacing on the top, and I don't mind the middle, and there's some sort of fingerlings there, but this is brown. I don't like brown. Now, do I throw some more paint at it and hope that it's does something nice or do I just scrape it and it doesn't see the light of day I think that's going to be the case because I don't like it yeah and that means you won't see it either so hmm. well there's some nice little blue cells coming through here let's torch it let's not throw it away too quickly because there's the, that satin, there's the extreme sheen in here, which might pop through and break this up. You never know you look in a big city. See all these little uh, blue cells popping through? You know what, I might leave it for a little bit longer and see what happens. I'll finish my corners off. And, and then I'm going to mix, I'm going to save these paints tomorrow and I'm going to mix some normal white and we'll have another go and then if this looks horrible tomorrow it's going to be poured over. But I think I'm going to leave it. Um, this is some quite nice effects here. I say I would say it's subtle. <laughs> oh dear. And there's some nice, that's lovely purple bits over there. Yeah, we'll we'll let it settle. I'll do the corners. Okay, you don't need me to see that. Well, I'll uh, take a photo, and when it's a little bit drier. And we'll see how we get on. But uh, not successful house paint, I don't think. And then these need to be thicker, which I'm very shocked about, to be honest. But thicker they will be. Okay, right, that's Amanda. I will um, just bring the camera down and do a quick close-up. Okay. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. Or not, as the case may be. Now you can see these little blue cells popping through here and they're quite cute. I love this bit there, the blue <clears throat> and the gold coming through. This bit here and this is quite pretty with the purple. Um, now you can see here and I don't know whether that's white splitting or molding you know, or, or blending. It's definitely not the white that I'm going to be using in my next pour um, <clears throat> and I don't know about this copper 
this is quite pretty over here I don't know if you can uh, it's uh, quite sunny and that's quite nice there with that little cobbledy bit there that's lovely and that's all pretty this pink and white I'm glad I tipped most of that off um, yeah I mean it's 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 unusual it's nice I think I might just keep it just to see um, how I can improve and have a look at it or if it dries horribly it'll be get poured over tomorrow because I've got all this paint because this blue bit here let me just draw that curtain a bit that blue bit there I'm, I wonder if I can just tip that off let's just try shall we because it's still wet let's just see if I can just tip it off let's see what happens just tip that yellow that pink bit off and that blue bit off but the trouble is it's going to extend this bit here I mm, don't think much is moving mm. oh you've got a fiddle haven't you hey look at this edge look that's that white definitely got to go right I'll just tip this back there it's not moving very much okay that'll do mm, it's sick it. yeah that's a bit better right anyway I will take a picture when it's um, dried sorry for the shaky camera work that's me one-handed and it's gone round the wrong way gosh okay okay there you go so um, I've just tipped a little bit up more off the edge there but I mean that's a pretty corner over there um, let me just put my hand in the way there you go it's, it's I don't know, it's the sun's out. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, I like these little blue cells coming through there. I think the copper has blended too much with the blue and, and that Prussian blue made a bit of a brownie. I'm not too happy about that. But oh, this blue, this purple corner down here is lovely. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with this white, but it won't be used again. Um, nice purpley bit there. And there's some nice deco art with the gold coming through there so I'm going to leave it I'm going to see how it dries but it might get poured over tomorrow so watch this space okay have a good evening cheerio bye bye okay so I've done some more tipping I tipped a lot of the brown copper bit off I stretched it out to the blue bit and I much much prefer it I got rid of some of that blue at the end there and elongated the uh, middle so um much yeah I knew I'd have to fiddle so I much prefer it now loving this blue coming through here and all these little gold pebbles so I should take some photos let it settle now um but yeah the little extra tipping off of paint um but not happy with that white definitely Okay, so I'll take a photo when it's a bit dry in the morning. Okay, Amanda over and out. Hello everyone, it's Amanda from Creative Pouring. Just um, trying to show you this um, pour that I did yesterday. That I ended up tipping a lot more off just to get rid of some of this copper brownie stuff. It's looking quite pretty actually today. I quite like it. Um, it excuse the sun, well the sort of like coming in from the windows but this area here is very pretty and and it's sort of settled down I think I just um, ended up tipping a lot of that copper that had gone brown off there was too much um, and then I came down stretched the middle out and stretched that lovely blue bit out there and then this comes more to a coppery violet bit here and there those little blue um, cells coming through so let me just pan straight back out and I got rid of most of the pink but there's a little bit there on the edge just to show Willie so I'm living with it I might pour over it I don't know but I'm going on to canvas number two so I have mixed some new white 
because I didn't like the way that this white went a little bit what I think I would say mushy I think it blended too much because it's house paint I was experimenting really so I have mixed some Jackson Art White with my Floetrol pouring medium and we're going to go for take two I think I'm going to leave the copper out and put um, a bluey green in instead so and a violet of course okay right let's see take two coming up <laughs> 